Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Thursday, July 16th, and now it's 3.20-something, 6, I think, 3.26 p.m. And I thought I'd better share this. I do not know this ministry or this woman on this video. Someone linked it in the comments. Or maybe it was my email. But anyway... It's called Spirit Move Ministry. Never heard of them. Uh, the title of her video, Prophetic Vision, Brace Yourself. Can you believe that? You know, I made that other one and I said, by the words of two or three witnesses, let a thing be established. And it was also about brace yourself. And Pastor Dana's was brace yourself. Now, here we see this woman. And I listened to it. And uh, I, I would really like for uh, y'all to watch this. And those of you who have the gift of discernment. I'm going to be praying about this. I'm not saying she's not hearing from the Lord now. Don't mistake me. But I have been under the impression and told one of you this. Uh, I just think we're going to be taken before anything more bad happens. Like the worst of it. All right, she's talking about uh, like everybody's going to be still here for all this that she's talking about that we have to brace ourselves for. Maybe she's right. I just know that the word says, um, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And somebody read me their, sent me their version. This is pray that you may have the strength to escape. Like, be strong enough to withstand whatever's going to happen. Well, that's a different version. And I know they're different. I'm, I'm going to pull that up. Let me pull up a new the sun is kind of blinding me here. Bible search. Pray that you make it. That's Luke 21, 36. All right, so Luke 21, 36. Because what we've been through so far has been like pockets here and pockets there. And this plague pandemic was not at all what um, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape. Okay, I want to look up the word escape. To escape. All right, it's G1628. As if God doesn't give me supernatural strength. Whatever it is, he made it out like it's a storm and the water would be up to here and your head would stay above water as long as we now start praying and worshiping him and doing those list of 17 things that someone else put out. I put that video up yesterday. Somebody spelled out all 17 things in the comments of that video, by the way. And listed another YouTube channel that posted it and listed them out. So, uh, anyway, the meaning of this is escape, flee. To flee out of, to flee away. A, to seek safety in flight. B, to escape, to seek safety in flight. Now, I don't know how in the world they came up with their whatever 
a version um, this sister of ours had that said, pray that you may have the strength to escape. Okay, well, let's see. See, where does the word, how does the word strength, what would that be? Pray that you may be counted worthy. Counted worthy. Let's go back up. That's G2661. All right. Katoski is what it looks like. Katoksiko. Katoksiko. Oh. It's Greek to me. <laughs> Uh, seriously. All right. The King James Version translates Strong's G2661 in the following manner. Count worthy two times to a count worthy. It doesn't say anything about strength. Now let me move on down because sometimes you find more down here. Okay. G2661. The day which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. Alright, that's something different. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall get out of here come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And the next one is counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer. Okay, that's for Second Thessalonians. Let me tell you something. Last night before I went to bed, I keep my tablet by my bed. I, was, I grabbed my Bible and then I said, well, I have such a hard time reading it. I'm just going to put it back and use my tablet. Lord, if there's a scripture you want, me to go to. I really need to hear from you. I need to hear what is going on and um, what is the order of things and so forth. Well, I opened it on up and I went ahead and punched in my four numbers password so it would work and I set it back down. And by the time I positioned myself for prayer, up popped the Bible app that I had had it on. Forgot all about it. I thought I had it on music. And guess what was up? 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 3. Let me pull it up here. A lot of you know it. That's what I had been reading. And I don't remember when. All right. Wow, this is tiny. I have to make this big. Oh, now, now it is big. How weird is that? Thank you, Lord. All right. I'll start with verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, He's talking to the church of Thessalonica, all right? That ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. The day of the Lord does not come till the sixth seal is opened. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. But I had it opened in on the Geneva Bible, which says, except there come a departure first. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. The definitions have been changed. We shall depart. 
the few that are ready. We've already been through our tribulation. Now, whatever is coming that's being considered a storm, that our heads will stay above water if we get on our faces and pray and repent and this and that. See, I think her message is to the church. You watch it. Please leave me your comments and tell me if you think the first fruits rapture or the rapture of the bride, the first rounders, as Kathy calls them, do we go through this? And if so, if we're in it with everybody else, how do we explain the departure before the Antichrist is revealed and all those seals are open? But there could be more before the Antichrist is, is exposed. There could be. So, what I want to say to you is, regardless of what we think, we do not know the whole picture. We don't. And if we're ready to go, and then we know there's a second round of the virus, we trust in the Lord, as I, I put in my comment. My comment was this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. And if you have cleaning up to do, I suggest you get to it. Or if you're not praying much, or reading the Bible much, or it's an every other day thing, and you know what I'm saying? He wants you daily. He wants you treating him like a spouse already, like you're truly engaged. If you were to be the bride of Christ, wouldn't you? Think about it. Think about it. Is your mind heavenward? Or are you worried about what's going on down here with your job? Will things ever be the same? Do you want them the same? This is all signs that we're going home soon, brothers and sisters. So, just remember that. And, well, with this verse, it says, Unless there come, I'm going to say a departure first, and that the man, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. I don't think it's long after the first rapture, the son of perdition is revealed. But it could be after another round of the flu, of, excuse me, pandemic with a worse virus, man-made something that they call a virus. I, I still don't know what to believe about that. Is it part of our immune system? Then these man-made things are calling them a virus so they can make a vaccine against them. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter what we call it. It, it is what it is, and they're saying that it's contagious so that we'll wear a mask and stay at home and be willing to close our businesses to keep from spreading it. Never before. Well, I'm going to close it with this. I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. Myself, my computer, and my internet connection. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you. And that you will be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. Whatever that is. And if it's things that are not meant for us to escape, that we need to go through to show what faith we have, then show that faith, not fear.
because our Lord is with us and in us. Please watch this video and leave a comment back to me and let me know what you think. With that, I'll say bye for now. Did I say over each and every one of you and all your devices and your internet connections? Okay, with that, I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.